Hello there citizens of YouTube and it's Neil D once again we're back here with a different product actually um, it's called the Chop Clock now this is an energy saving device for your boiler that will help you control the amount of money that you spend on your heating and the way this product works is it will chop your boiler and turn it off for a specific amount of time per hour uh, but first of all anyway so, there, so there's the box quite simple chop clock model on the back showing a CCO2 and obviously it's got the uh, CE mark which is the European uh, electronics or electrical equipment uh, approval we've also got a recycle and the old bin again um, pretty much it that's that's the basic box so we'll take a look inside um, first thing we come across is the item itself this is the chop clock in its packaging so this is it and it is basically a dial a lot of people think it looks like a pendant that sits on a on a ceiling but this is your dial this allows you to effectively override your boiler controls or your thermostat in your house uh, the dark green is obviously the one that it's sat, sat on so it goes up all the way up to 45 minutes or you can turn it off which will be all the way down and then everything in between uh, in a five minute period difference so we have a back plate on this which allows you to either pass the cable through the side if it's actually just uh, mounted on, on a wall or if it's got a back cavity you can go straight in the back and to separate this what all we've got to do is literally use a screwdriver whoa I have a heavy hand unfortunately um, so starting off we have the back plate which these little pins on the back of this literally they, they just clip together to, to pass the electric through from the from the device um, on here you'll see that there is a little a little cable mount that you can remove if you need to which will basically host um, a five core cable or a three and a two whichever depending on what, what cable the electrician has got but just going back to the box for a second um, we have a little bit of paperwork inside so we have the CTO2 fitting instructions first of all uh, we have a, a technical manual and then we have a little descriptive piece of literature on exactly how to chop with some nice pretty colourful diagrams um, pretty much showing different people's lives that kind of stuff and, and what works for them just to get you familiar um, so just going back to the chop clock, so the idea basically behind this behind this device is that it, it stops your boiler from working for X amount of time and uses the um, the heat from the, your bricks and mortar if you like to keep your house warm in the time that you have got it switched to. So say you had it on 15 minutes, the boiler is going to run for 45 minutes out of every 60. For this 15 minutes it's going to stop and it's going to cool down slowly but the idea is that it's not enough that you notice it yet will save you if you like a quarter of your bill that's that's the idea behind it the, the, I think they've got it set as 16% minimum now this is made by uh, a Scottish uh, designer so if you live in Scotland that's where this come from um, I thought I, the name eludes me right now but uh, basically he's, he's tested this out and reckons he's saved between 30 and 35% on his electricity but obviously you have to test it under all different sort of circumstances so they've set the average at 16% or 18% it's one or the other I think it's 16 if I remember rightly 16 so so basically there's there's a few places you can mount this you can mount it near your thermostat there's several different wiring techniques you can mount it on your boiler close to your boiler um, I'll drop a link to the video if you are planning on fixing one of these but it's a, it's a pretty cool little device really uh, you could do a similar thing I know a lot of you 
electricians for example, which if you don't know, I'm an electrician, that's my day job, so it's a little close to my heart this one. But uh, you could do it via a programmable timer, the only difference being, you would literally have to program every single hour of every single day, and then you'd have to, if it, if it wasn't the right amount of time, you'd have to then readjust it again. It would take you hours. This takes literally a click and it starts chopping. Now, another thing to note is that on, on the side of this, you can actually choose between um, zero, 60 and 90 minutes. Now, that, what, what that's for is that is when you initialize the device, when you first turn it on, um, it will bypass its own functions for 60 to 90 minutes or if you don't want it to do that if you want it to start straight away you just put it on zero so very very simple there's not a lot to show but the idea is it saves you a lot of money if you can get away with 45 minutes depending on how insulated your house is then you're gonna be saving a lot on your bill for those drafty houses you might never get past the 15 minute mark but there you go that is the chop clock uh, I'd just like to thank uh, our friends at WF Senate, uh, part of the Rexel Group, for providing this for a quick little demo. Clearly there's not a lot to show, this, this basically needs to go in the hands of a qualified electrician such as myself, but I'm not doing it for you, so don't start asking because I'm too busy with other things. I kind of put my foot in that, didn't I? But, um, so yeah, so that's it, and so these two just literally clip back together. Uh, it is a little bit hard to unclick because it, they don't want it falling off the wall off the back off the back plate but um big screwdriver required because otherwise you're going to start marking it which actually somebody's already, already had a go at this before i got my hands on it somebody actually marked it on the bottom there I, i've done it on the top so if there's a tiny little mark there it's a lot better than the one at the bottom somebody butchered to get in this one but uh yeah so there's your chop clock these retail i do believe at 69.99 which you may think is a lot of money look at your heating bill, make your own mind up, uh, that's it.